Japan is a modern and peaceful nation, yet men have within them an unquenchable need to punch other men in the face. But in peaceful nations like Japan, we have ceased this barbaric action and instead pay other men to do it for us. Here at Saitama Super Arena, we will see Dream, a matchup of some of the best fighters in the world, and the most gaily named fighting match I've ever heard of. I'm ready to see men get their ass kicked. You know, watching men beat the crap out of each other is a very entertaining way to spend a day. I highly recommend it. I mean, even if you just have younger siblings. You can just stage a small K-1 fight in your own house. If they get hurt though, I bear no legal responsibility for that. Joining me today in the fun of watching men pummel each other is my good friend Mike Neistat. Mike Neistat who sadly is not long for Tokyo. The crazy old bastard has decided he's gonna move to LA and try to continue his uh, illustrious acting career there, but got a couple last boys night out before that happens. Actually, uh, I know a fair bit about kicking ass. Well, rather, having one's ass kicked. You see, I have a much larger, older brother who uh, taught me the ways of being ass kicked. Uh, he, he, he pummeled me on many occasions. But you know what? It made me stronger. And uh, gave me a kind of a limp. And I still have not complete use of my left arm. But good times, good times. That's right, baby. Me and Mike Nishta, we're gonna smoke some stogies, drink some beers, and watch Ooh. men kick asses. Ew! Give the game face. Give the game face. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, she's cuter. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. Bastard. Okay. Me, Mike, the Colonel, let's go watch some people kick asses. <laughs> Mixed martial arts, mm. so it's um, grappling as well as punching and kicking and kneeing. And K1 mm. is uh, like kickboxing, so it's mm. punching and kicking. Who's gonna win this fight? I don't know. I think Diaz. Diaz is looking good. He's looking good. Um, all Japanese sports, sports indigenous to this island, uh, all have their roots in uh, warfare, in some sort of uh, uh, 
you know, uh, martial arts or um, can you give some examples? Well, you have uh, Kendo, uh, you've got Judo, um, you've got Sumo, you've got Karate, uh, you've got uh, Archery. Uh, well, Judo, yes, Archery. Um, so they're, they're all um, military skills that the samurai would learn. All right, so this is a challenge to anyone out there who can disprove this theory. Is there any Japanese sport that is not basically military in origin? How does a person who looks like you become an actor in Japan? And by that I mean the guy you yeah. Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to come to Japan. That's the number one thing. A lot of people try to do it not living in Japan, but it does, doesn't work. That's key. Yeah, you, 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 you miss a lot of the auditions that way. What's interesting, I came here and I started working for an entertainment company. Um, and uh, uh, there are a lot of different agencies here that hire foreign actors for modeling work or uh, TV shows or movies, uh, sometimes theater. And a lot of narration work here um, for promo videos and uh, um, English language materials. You know, a lot of Japanese that study English, English is very big. And uh, there's a lot of educational TV shows and radio shows. So there's actually quite a lot of work if you get into the. Uh, but keep in mind, you need a visa. So don't think you're just going to get on a plane, move here, and get a job like modeling the next day. Uh, no matter how good looking you are, you have to have a visa, okay? When you get here, I think a lot of people who do acting, they're an actor slash something else, like an actor slash musician, or an actor slash narrator, or uh, a dancer, or something like that. But are actors and musicians in Japan less talented than people back home? Is this a waste bin for uh, people who couldn't make it over there? Doc? Um, for some people, perhaps. I don't think so, actually. I think there are a lot of very talented people living here, and they just found themselves here for some reason. Uh, like, my wife is Japanese. Um, that's not why I came here, but... but sorry, she's a cute girl. See, that's why I came here. His wife, you have a wife, Michael, is Japanese. We're gonna edit that out. What are the highlights of your career so far in Tokyo as a foreign actor? Well, I, I do a lot of theater. Um, actually, I'm working on a play right now for the, uh, the new uh, National Theater, which is a very big theater. I've performed in the Imperial Theater and uh, done kind of these samurai, uh, samurai dramas. Um, uh, it was a, which samurai do you play exactly? I play a, a foreigner. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, who comes to Japan about 150 years ago or 300 years ago. Um, usually, uh, I've played a missionary and a diplomat, a uh, priest, um, uh, an army guy, a lot of different characters in different dramas, uh, TV movies or shows or whatever. And I'm, I'm also regular on a kids' TV show, a popular kids' TV show uh, that's been on the air for about six years. Mike, good luck in LA, man. I, I really wish the best for you, but the likelihood of you getting knifed and ending up homeless and your wife working for the Mafia, possibly as a prostitute, is quite high. Good luck. That's all I want to say is good luck. Thanks. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Good stuff. Fortunately, uh, Mike and I didn't have to kick anyone's ass yet. No, but the night's young. Let's go find someone's ass to kick. All right. Warriors. Warriors. Well, Mike, it was a good fight. Had a good time. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Take care. We ate, we drank, we had fun. Have fun in LA.